Welcome back, St. Charles East students. It is so glad to uh, see you guys remotely yet again. Um, this is hopefully the last one of these messages I've just sent to you guys. But first and foremost, I want to welcome you to remote learning, not e-learning. And what we are looking at today is specifically what the overview for the class is, and then also some things that have changed as we sort of dial into what this remote learning is going to look like for all of April. Okay, so officially, um, the school has decided that, well, not the school, the district has decided that we will be teaching you guys Monday through Thursday throughout the week, and Friday will be reserved for teacher meetings, which I don't know what they look like just yet, but we will find out very quickly, I am sure. So the entire month of April, you'll have four days of remote learning with all of your classes, and the school day is defined as 8 to 3.30 p.m. That's also when I'm supposed to be available constantly via my computer, um, should you need me. The length of the class day is supposed to be about 30 minutes a day, maximum. So I'm going to try and keep it under there if I can. And then they talk a lot about this synchronous sessions. Synchronous sessions would be things like uh, Google Meet or um, Zoom session, things like that. I am going to hold back on doing a lot of those with you guys at the moment. Um, and I'm going to use those if I need to. But for the most part, uh, we'll kind of hold off on those just right now. And then lastly, what I'll look at specifically is the official policy for grades and retakes as far as we're concerned for the district at this point. Okay, so here's what's going to happen for science class. Now, if you look at this, you'll see that there are some A, B's, A days, excuse me, and some B days for class. Um, the A days are supposed to follow what is between 8 and 2.30 for your various classes Monday, Wednesday. And then B days are for Tuesday, Thursday. Now, this is just for synchronous sessions only, a.k.a. your teacher wants to do a Google Meet or Zoom. I am not going to be using Zoom anymore ever since the FBI sent out in a warning, uh, basically letting all teachers know that most people are getting their um, Zoom sessions hijacked by all different kinds of uh, weird, strange people out there. So we're going to stick to Google Meet should we find the need. This first week, we're not going to need Google Meet whatsoever, um, but should we need it later on, I'll kind of talk more about that. What you will get from me is some kind of direct instruction Monday and Wednesday. Tuesday will be kind of our practice day, synchronous learning if we need it. Week one, we're not going to need it. And then Thursday, you'll always get some sort of formative or summative. And then we'll talk more specifically about grading here in just a second. Okay, so grades are going to be the one thing that is new. So the entire time that we were having the uh, e-learning for two weeks on those Act of God days, we cannot collect anything from you guys as far as teach like from any class teachers whatsoever. Those are Act of God days. Schools are shut down, and those days do not have to be made up. So now, because we're still shut down, what we're doing is basically enacting an emergency plan where we are still having learning. But we're calling it remote learning now, not e-learning. And basically what this means is you cannot fail. You cannot do worse than you started off as. And so many of you will say, well, like, I have an A right now. You mean my grade can't go lower? That is correct. Your grade cannot go lower during this time. This is basically a dream come true because you just get to learn for free. Everything that's happening right now inside this classroom, you basically get to do and take it a sort of a zero fear level because you can just kind of take the material, absorb as much as you can, take the assessments, the formatives as we go, and I will mark something in home access. Of course, there is a slight caveat to that. If you do choose not to complete the assignments, I will be listing the assignment grades as an I for incomplete in home access center. And at the end of uh, whatever this remote learning looks like, it is possible the school may hold back from giving you full credit for the class. They cannot lower your grades, but they may not deem you has earned credit for the course should you not complete a certain number of e-learning or remote learning days. But I want to emphasize this, no class can your grade go down whatsoever during remote learning. We are trying to do the best we can with this at this moment. We're trying to make this work for you guys. But we realize there's a lot of stressors outside of class right now. Retakes. If you're looking to retake anything, contact me directly via email because that would be the best way to try and get a hold of me. And I will send you um, the retake digitally. We can fill it out that way. And I will probably send something a little bit differently because I can't guarantee you're not going to be using your notes. So. To reiterate, your grades cannot go down during remote learning. 
your grades can only go up during this process. However, if you choose not to do that or complete any of the assignments, the incomplete or I will be put into Home Access Center. And because of that, the school may be able to withhold credit from you for the course. I do not know exactly, but that is what I'm being told. All the summative exams you guys get from me will be free response and open note because I have no way of giving you a summative exam uh, in a secure fashion during this time. Due dates are extremely flexible. I'll be laying this stuff out via a uh, week at a time. And should you not be able to meet that due date, get it done as soon as you can. I essentially will be collecting stuff at any given time. Okay. So what should we be doing at this time? Just to reiterate these things. Okay, so what I'm gonna do every single week is I'm gonna post the material for the entire week. I'm gonna provide you feedback each week for everything you do, and I'm gonna keep communication open as much as humanly possible. Use Google, use email, use Gchat, use Google Meet. If you need to meet with me directly, let's set up a time so we can do a Google Meet and we can talk and look these things over and ask questions directly. I'm going to try some new things out. I'm going to dial it back if needed. But my goal is to basically get you guys through the essentials through this really weird time. Your job, do all the work. Get your daily classes, stay organized, advocate for yourself, be patient, and communicate with your teachers when it's too much or there's something else going on. Above all else, remember guys, I miss you a ton. Um, I wish you the best. I hope that everyone's staying super healthy and doing some social distancing. Please, please, please. So these things can get better. And I really, really, really hope I see you guys uh, in early May. Let me know if there's anything that pops up and I'll keep you posted with more videos.